When Andrew Feinberg visits the Tower of London, he sees more than what's in front of him. Thanks to a smartphone, a virtual reality headset, and an app called Time Looper, Feinberg can experience the iconic castle as it was in the year 1255. We actually uh, overlay the current infrastructure with what uh, the infrastructure of the tower and the surrounding environment was like uh, in 13th century London. With Time Looper, tourists can look at historical sites like St. Paul's Cathedral and see what it looked like centuries ago. So what Time Looper does is its immersive time travel technology enables visitors to turn back the clock and experience those destinations at key moments in their history. Like the 1666 Great Fire of London or what happened to Trafalgar Square when it was bombed by Nazi Germany in 1940. The different layers of history are adding a whole new dimension to the work of London tour guides. I think it's just really, really immersive. I mean, my job is a storyteller. I'm here to conjure up what things are like. And this just gives me something else I can use, particularly with small children. The Tower Bridge is set to launch its own time looper experience in April. Tourists will be able to see what the area looked like 350 years ago. Our demographic, it certainly helps with that as well. We've got a hugely international demographic. So we don't want to be translating endless amounts of text. Uh, we want everything to be as visual and immersive as possible. Traveling back in time to be a witness to history. Terry Che, Associated Press. The different layers of history are adding a whole new dimension to the work of London tour guides. I think it's just really, really immersive. I mean, my job is a storyteller. I'm here to conjure up what things are like. And this just gives me something else I can use, particularly with small children. The Tower Bridge is set to launch its own time looper experience in April. Tourists will be able to see what the area looked like 350 years ago. Our demographic, it certainly helps with that as well. We've got a hugely international demographic. So we don't want to be translating endless amounts of text. Uh, we want everything to be as visual and immersive as possible traveling back in time to be a witness to history. Terry Che, Associated Press.